Oh, hi. Don't mind me. I'm just kind of building my own little world here. My little harmonious world. If you want to see how you can build your own little harmonious world, stick around after the break to see me take on the new game from Libelude Harmonies by myself and creating this lovely little world. All right, here we are set up for the solo mode of harmonies. Only two really differences. This board is flipped to the solo player side. It's got three spots here, and you only have three animal cards out instead of the five. The gameplay does play slightly different, though. When I take my turn, I'm going to still take the three, put them on the board. If you're unsure how harmonies normally plays, check the link above, and I'll show you. Once I put the three on here, at the end of my turn, I'm going to discard the other six back to the box and then refill from here. Also, if I did not take an animal card this turn, I can then discard an animal card and replace it with the top one from the deck. All other rules remain unchanged. I am basically playing. Based on my score, I'll get an amount of suns. Based on the side of the board I use, I get additional suns. And if I use nature spirits, even more or less. So I am not doing the water side, I am doing the normal side, the A side, and I am not using Nature Spirits for this one. So we are about to get started. Again, we're going to do what we've been doing. I'm going to play this first round out for you, show you how round kind of happens, and then we are going to zip zap zoom to the future, where I will then be with my full board on my last turn, and you can see how the game ends and how the game scores. And in between those two, you get to see me really fast playing. With that all being said, we will get started. So one of the things you're going to want to initially look at is, can I start setting myself up for any of these? Or do I, I'm probably just going to end up not maybe taking one discard and see what else comes up. Because I, I like those koala bears, but I think I might pass on them. Raccoons are kind of cute. So but I think we're going to start by grabbing these. So... After you grab them, you can put them anywhere on your board. And as you're doing that, you can do optional actions. One of those actions is you can take an animal card. You can only do that once per turn, however. Then once you take the animal card, you put the cubes on them. And that leads to the other optional action is once you have accomplished this pattern, you can put an animal cube out. You can do that as many times on your turn as you are able. Let's, so I want to keep these together, so let's... You know, we're going to stick these right here in this corner, and let's put our wood piece right there. I'm not going to grab any of the animals, so I can discard one. I think we are going to discard the raccoons. Fill that back up. We got us some flamingos. And look, I set myself up good for that one. All right, so now these all get discarded. There we go. Let's do this, and then we refill with three. There's some mountains and a piece of wood. There's some water, a wood, and a building. And there's that. So I think I'm going to have you stick around with one more, because I think I am about to take those flamingos. Which means I'm probably going to be taking this piece right here. And then we're going to take the flamingo card. So the flamingo card comes right over here. I can have up to four animal cards. So we'll pop our three cubes on there. I'm going to place that water right there, which allows me to put a cube on it because it now matches that. And now I have to decide where I want to put these other two. I believe this refreshes immediately so I can kind of get an idea. Do I want to do the Panthers? So I'm probably going to be putting a water there. So I'm not going to be able to line these up to that. And I don't want to do there. If I get the, that going that way, that going that way, maybe two more fields there. So I think I might want to set myself up for that Panther. Oh, but the buildings don't score unless it's too high. Now I have a single building. You know what? We are going to, I think, we're going to make this a building. And then let's do the forest there. That seems like a good plan. 
So then again, these all get discarded like such. We refill. There's that other water I'm going to need. And the water there. And the water there. So plenty of water. If you look at the reference card, it shows that water and mountains have the most in there at 23 each. All right, so enjoy the speed. I'll meet you back here on the last round. Here we are in the final round because the game will end when either this bag is empty or I have two or less hexes and more than likely I'm going to have two or less hexes. So if this isn't the final round, I just brought you back a little early. So in theory, I could have it not be the final round if I take that one. I could do a size three tree if I took that one. All right, so this isn't necessarily going to be the final round. But still, I'll let you come in so you can kind of see some of my thought space here. So I could take this one, which would let me put the building there. I could take the peacock to get five points. I don't have any options for that because it needs to be the exact size. So it needs to be a size one green, and all mine are big. And I don't have anywhere I can put it to get a bunch of those. A size three tree and a one fountain. So I can't get to the size three tree. I kind of think I am going to take this one so I can build up my mountain. So if I put this here, that's six points. If I put this here, that'll be seven and one, so eight points. 
So let me put that there. Let me build the building, grab the peacock. So I'm only going to be able to get this one on here, which is fine with me. And then this guy can go anywhere. Let's see what my new card is, see if that matters. Uh, it doesn't, but I will be taking that one next turn. So let's put our tree right there. Discard these. So now this will for sure be the last turn because I can only build up on those two mountains, which means my third piece I will have to put down there. So we have one, two, three. One, two, and three. So I was hoping for some water, but I think I'm probably going to grab this to build there. So like I said, that, that guy right there is going to give me one on there. Because if I put the two fields there, that will score me five points. I can just put the single green there, so that's six. This would give me nothing. That would give me one. This would increase that to three points. And same thing as that's the same one. So yeah, we're going to grab this. In the interim, we are going to grab this one. Put out our three cubes. Doop, doop, doop. And then we already have it right here with this building, like such. Grab these, drop that there, drop that there, and drop that in there. There we go. Alrighty, so that is... The end game trigger. So let's just get these discarded out of the way so I can bring in my score pad. So first thing we do is we score our landscapes. So for the forest, the green, if it's just brown, I get no points. If it's a single green, I get one. A double, I get three. And a big, I get seven. So we get one point, two, 5, 8, 11. So 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. The mountains, they need to be connected. That's why I put them together. A single one is 1. A triple is 7. So that is 8 points for my mountains. The planes want to be in groups of 2 or more. 5 points for every group of 2 or more. So that's 5 points. And 5 points is 10. Buildings are going to score me 5 points if they're around 3 different colors. So 1, 2, 3... One, two, three, so both of those score me, so that's 10. And then the river is a continuous line, one, two, three, four. Four is eight points. So we are at 16, 27, 37, 47 for that. And now my animal cards. So for the three I've completed, I have a 16. I have an 18. I have an 11. I get four for this one and five for this one. So that's nine, 20, 38, 48, 54. 54, that puts me at 101. So my chart shows me at a, uh, uh, between 90 and 110 is three suns. I used A, so that's four, and that is five and six. So six suns is my solo score with 101 points. Oh look, I scored 101 when I played against the bride. I had one point less there, one point more there. So it looks like so far, that is my running score is 101. So that will be the personal best I'll have to beat at some point. So anyways, that was Harmonies. As I said, this plays basically the same as two player or multiplayer, except normally you have five cards out here. This is flipped over with five spaces, and then they don't get discarded. They stay out there and just get refilled at the end of each player's turn. So as I said, there was a link up above earlier that showed you everything that was inside and how it plays multiplayer. This was solo player. And if you want to go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell down below to see when we release more stuff or to comment on what you think of this game. There's a lot of people that compare this to Cascadia. I personally... Don't see it outside of the fact that you have different landscapes for every animal. But like Cascadia, you grab different things. So to me, I don't really see many similarities here with that. But you can let me know down below if you do. All right, until next time.
Seek harmonies.